Hi. Today, I'm going to show you how to return or exchange in the sales screen. First, I would like you to check something here. If you see under the sales document, you'll be able to see the doc type, document type. So you have sales return, which means that this was a return, and you have sales invoice, which means that this was an invoice. Okay, so before we start, we're just gonna, um, I'm just going to take you to the settings and then stores and then you just go current store and you have settings, you have return settings, sorry. So you have to toggle this option to turn it on so that you can allow returns on the sales screen with negative values. And then you can just like go back to the main screen, the sales screen. And you can click on this return button. Once you click on it, you have the return document. They will be all showing here. So what you can do, you can either enter the uh, document number, the name of the customer, or you can just click search. And when you click search, it's going to show you the list of all the items that were sold so far. So you have sales invoice. They are all invoices. So you just have to pick one and then you click on the select button. And once you click select, this is going to open the documents right here. So remember, we sold this item, the crystal set to this customer, John Snow. Okay, so the next thing would be for you to just click on the return button here. And it's going to show the item on the sales screen right now. So now we know that we are selling an item, like selling a negative item, which is return. And you can just push this button on the bottom here, the return button. Once you click on it, you have the tender types that will come up here. And you can just choose the payment tab if you want to pay to return the amount in cash, in debit, or in visa. You can just select your preferred payments. And you go, you click accept, after, just right after you confirm the amount that needs to be returned, you click accept. And you can click done, click done. And it's going to print a receipt for you that you can give to the customer. Okay, so I just show you how to do a return or an exchange using the sales screen. Thank you. Bye.